If you're looking to sell and want to know the best DIY projects to improve your home, then check out this video. Hi everyone, I'm Ugo Orense with Onyx Property Consultants and Keller Williams. I am a London-based property agent and I help my clients buy, sell, rent and manage property throughout London. I work with a lot of buyers and sellers and now that it's spring, it's a great time to spruce up your home and get it ready if you're thinking about selling anytime soon. So what are the best DIY projects that you can do to improve your home and get it ready for sale? Well, watch this video and make sure to stay till the end as I've got a special bonus tip that you don't wanna miss. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe as I put out weekly video about the London property market and actually all things fabulous about living in this incredible city. So jumping in, tip number one is to paint. I know you've heard this before, but it really is the quickest, easiest, and most best return on investment that you can make. It really freshens up a home and works wonders to renew the look and create a great feel of a space. My suggestion is to go with neutrals, but you don't have to be afraid of color. Grays and blues are very popular right now, and if you get them in the right tone, they create a nice neutral backdrop, but actually create some interest without being too overwhelming. Tip number two is to upgrade old door handles, kitchen cabinets, and cupboards. You would be amazed how a simple change from say an old gold fixture swapped out with a contemporary brush nickel can update the look of a door or cupboard or cabinet. Places like Ikea have some of the best handles that are cost effective but with loads of options. Tip number three is to dust cobwebs and clean dirty windows and wipe down window panes and sills. This is often overlooked but can make a really good or bad first impression about a home as people enter into it. Tip number four, which is carrying on with the window theme and that's to actually make sure that all the windows and doors open and close properly and you've got proper locks on them. You might need to check the hinges and alignment but it's a great update to ensure the home is safe and secure and that someone buying it is entering in a home that's safe. Tip number five is to add flowers and clean up your outside space. Curb appeal is really important and something as simple as tidying up weeds between pathway bricks and adding lovely potted flowers and plants create a welcome invitation to come see more and come into the house. So which of these tips have you done recently? Make sure to leave me a comment below if you've done any of them or if you've got any other great tips on DIY projects. Continuing with our list, tip number six is to update light bulbs throughout. People underestimate the power of lighting, especially to create the right mood. So update lampshades and make sure your ambient lights give the right amount of lighting. It may mean updating to the latest LEDs or any energy efficient light bulbs as well. Tip number seven is to caulk around the tiles in the bathrooms and around the kitchen sink. This will work wonders in freshening up the space and replacing moldy, grimy old caulk that might have cracks in it and actually might not be sealing properly and allow unnecessary water in when it shouldn't. Also, don't forget to add nice hand, dish, and body towels as well. Tip number eight is to actually update those kitchen and bath fixtures. So let's say you have an old, outdated kitchen sink fixture or faucet, then adding a new shiny one will be a nice piece of jewelry, so to speak, to enhance the space. Same goes for tired and outdated bathroom sink faucets or tub faucets and shower heads. And tip number nine is to add simple neutral artwork and accessories to plain walls as well as adding neutral bedding and decorative accessories. The idea is to put yourself in the eyes of potential buyers who might come to view the home. If you create a space that is neutral, clean, and stylish, buyers will be able to see themselves in the home a lot easier than say compared to space that's overtly specific to a theme, taste, or style. Of course it goes without saying is to make sure that the space is as tidy and neat as possible. And tip number 10 is to update your house number and put a welcome mat outside your front door. Simple touches like this will make a house feel looked after and loved, which is what most potential buyers will want. So that's my top 10 list. And just to recap, at number one is to paint. At number two is to upgrade handles for doors, cupboards, and cabinets. Number three is to dust cobwebs and clean dirty dishes. Number four is to make sure all window locks and doors open and close properly. 
Number five is to add potted flowers and clean up the outside space. Number six is to update light bulbs and lighting. Number seven is to caulk tiles in bathrooms and kitchens. Number eight is to update bathroom and kitchen faucets and fixtures. Number nine is to add simple and neutral artwork and furnishings. And number 10 is to update the house flat number and add a welcome mat. So what about my bonus tip? Well, it's to add storage wherever possible. That may be as simple as adding a decorative coat rack at the front entrance if you don't have a formal coat closet, or perhaps is swapping out a glass coffee table for one with storage underneath, or add an extra shelf in the kitchen if you can. Here in London, storage is so key and important, so wherever possible, upgrade the storage options to maximize space. So I hope this video has given you some great DIY projects you can do right now that will increase the value of your home down the road for potential sellers. If you'd like more tips on getting your home ready for sale, then download my free seller's guide entitled Get Your Home Ready to Get Your Home Sold. I'll have a link in the description below so that you can download it and make sure you're ready for your next move. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of my YouTube channel where I've got great videos about the London property market and living in this fabulous city. So that's Ugo Renze with Onyx Property Consultants and Keller Williams. Bye for now.